short management earlier. Why is that vital in a DCC layout? Well, Rick, I don't want the layout to shut down when something shorts the track. And to do that, I use auto taillight bulbs. Car taillights? How does that work? I go to the local Walmart and buy some 1156 taillight bulbs. And then I wire them in series with the track feeders. So what happens if there's a short when it's wired with one of these bulbs? Well, let me show you. Take this throttle and I'm going to run this loco down the main here at Dillard. Then I'll take this quarter and short the track. And notice that the train stops immediately and the taillight bulb comes on. But now a taillight bulb, when cold, has almost no resistance, so the train runs normally. As I put the quarter on the track, the bulb sees increased current flow, and it becomes the main load in the circuit. But it doesn't register as a short at the booster. And then when I take the quarter off, the train starts running again immediately because the booster never saw a short. That's what's so cool about the auto taillight bulbs. You can split your layout up into power districts with a booster on each district. This means that you need less amps and it helps isolate shorts. So only the power district with the short goes down and all the others keep running. Yes, Rick. It's the ability of the taillight bulb to keep a short from ever registering at the booster. That's the key. That lets you keep the trains running within a single power district, even if another train in the same power district happens to cause a short. Now how do you manage that? I simply cut gaps in the track so that each power district contains several train length blocks. And then the feeder to each train block has an 1156 bulb attached to it. If a train happens to short the track in that train block, a train that's in another train block, but in the same power district, keeps right on running. Oh, because the power booster for that district doesn't see the short. Right, Rick. Any train that's in another train block keeps right on running, even though it's in the same power district. So it may slow, but it won't stop. Well, we'd like to see that. Sure. Rick, here, take this throttle, and we'll run another loco down the siding here at Dillard. Okay. Now this siding is on a separate train block from the main. And the siding has its own 1156 bulb on the feeder bus. But these two train blocks are in the same power district. Now I'll run my loco down the main as before, and I'll go ahead and place the quarter on the track and short it. And notice that your loco keeps running. Wow, that really works slick, Joe. Yeah, it sure does. I've rewired the layout to take advantage of this sort of short management. And I tell you, the cries of, hey, who shorted the layout? They're gone.